Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for just giving me the support, being patient, and you know, just going on your current path towards positive directions. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Also, if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. If you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your impact and getting how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you and just gave you some good spirits which you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And um, this beautiful, relaxing music I'm listening to today is 800, uh, let me see, 8 hours, 8 hours of, ooh, ooh. Sorry about that. Eight hours of relaxing sleep music, ocean waves, relaxing music, sleeping music, and calming music. Star 146. I will post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. And Paps, you are shining. Yes, it's just so many. Like I told y'all, I be getting comments left and right. And it's just y'all are just on a beautiful path. Even though y'all go through hell and high water, I know what that feels like. You are still shining. You are shining. You are letting your light show. You are speaking towards your voice. You're living in your true self. And I know that can be hard hard to do at times, you know, because things have been thrown in our path, especially when you know you're on the right direction and pushing out positivity. Things will come at you all type of ways, you know, people, circumstances, situations, and just, you know, you're clearing out your karma. But the best thing is this, that you know that bad times are not always going to be that way. I mean, days are not going to always be bad. Um, we know that, you know, we have to go through situations to learn, to grow, to strengthen ourselves, you know, to get that knowledge. To just to have those lessons and blessings, you know, we can go along our long, our long path and just be like, oh, I wish I never went through this, or oh, I wish I never been through that. But you should never do that because anything you have to think about, like, especially when it comes to relationships, you know, sometimes we've been in toxic relationships it don't have to be you know just a relationship with a you know a significant other it could just be with anybody and some people say oh I wish I never did that because you can't really say that because that's exactly what you wanted at that time so you never should actually wish anything like that but just you know even if it's on a you know a good experience or a bad experience you always learn something from that experience we grow from it we get information it's just like if we've been hurt you know if you have went through something like that and then the next time when it come along you're like oh shoot this is mine anytime something like something bad happens or something that gains your attention that something's not right and it's giving you all red flags and it puts you back in that situation where it reminds you of somebody else who's really toxic in your life you know that's the reason why you're going through it it's just that you can get forgive but never forget about the things you went through because the fact is when it comes along in your path again you already know how to deal with it so it's just like when you look at that situation it's like now hmm i know I, why i had to go through that because if I would have never gone through this, I would have never experienced that. If I never experienced that, I wouldn't know what to look for. So it's just a lot of things that y'all are doing, and it's just like we're having that voice for ourselves. You know, we're getting that confidence, we're getting wisdom each and every day. And it's just like when I ask God, please give me patience, because like I tell y'all every time, it's like I'm so proud of myself because there are so many situations lately I've been put in to where usually I will go tense you know 10 steps back and it's like you you know how we are you can get 10 you know five or 10 steps forward and the next thing you know a, a situation will bring you like 10 15 places back but it's just like now with me it's like certain situations might aggravate me or whatever but like I said I'm just proud that I'm not resulting going back to marijuana or you know having a glass of wine even I mean I could have a glass of wine and I'm sorry feeling bad y'all because I had like a couple of sips like during Thanksgiving and you talking about somebody felt so bad. I'm like, oh, Lord. You know, even though it was a holiday, I still felt bad. But it's just a good thing to where 
I'm not going back in my old habits because I learned my lesson from them things. And it's just like I just keep, you know, hearing voices from you like like my mom or my grams or something like that tell me, Oh, we're so proud of you. You're learning. You really are learning. So, because it's just so many times I used to always run back, you know, smoking marijuana or, you know, just use that escape just to not feel it. But it's just like when you use, when you use marijuana for certain situations like that, it's for an escape. It's not, because it, you already know when that high come down, the problem's still going to be there. So, it's just like if I'm going to have to deal with this, I might as well deal with it sober. Even though that's hard to do at times, I'm going to deal with it sober. So it's just like you're learning your lessons on each and every chapter of your life that you have gone through. And it's like it, you might have to go through that certain situation over and over again. But you, the only reason why you're going through it over and over again is because you didn't learn the lesson of that situation. So, you know, congratulate yourself if you are going through a situation that you've been through before, but you are conquering over that. You know, when you're you be on the one that's on top and winning. You shining. <laughs> you are shining. So you keep doing what you need to do. And knowing better days are coming for you and you know when you're on that positive path and things keep being thrown in your direction and you're able to just dust it off your shoulder, just flick it off and say, devil, not today and not tomorrow either. Keep on doing you. Keep on doing you because you already know when you're on a positive path, negative is going to come at you. Negative is going to try you. I mean, I've had it done to me on my you know, all my comments, I've had it done to me on my live, you know, and I said, I'm not going to allow nobody to stop me, but y'all, I said, I apologize for not having no videos out today, well, you know, well, you'll get this the next day, well, you'll get this Tuesday, but I apologize for not having videos out, I was sitting up here doing a video about retrograde yesterday, and all of a sudden, my dad on computer just cut the heck off on me, and just kept cutting off, so it was just like, you know what, that was just universe telling me, well, I'll take a break. Because you got too much stuff on your mind today, and it's just like your attitude. I mean, not your attitude, but the energy was around you that was, you know, a little bit, eh, whatever. So, I know yesterday I had to take my break, so I, I apologize for not having live with the videos. But, you know, I'm going to go ahead and try to, you know, do the, you know, my live as much as I can. But it's just on days that I'm feeling really drained. I just, I just don't want to do it. I really don't. I mean, it's just like I've been answering so many comments and so many emails and been on so many one-on-ones. It's draining me out, and i got to leave a little bit for myself. So if it means for me to take off for a couple of days, i just got to do that. So I do apologize, but I'm glad that y'all are patient with me and y'all are still there. So, you know, uh, much love to everybody. I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. My post notification shot goes out to... Christ Jones, much love to you fam. I hope you had a blessed week and thank you for subscribing. And you know, y'all go ahead and drop me a line and let me know y'all subscribe and hit that notification bell so I can give you a shout out on my next video. And know that you are blessed, highly favored, and truly loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm sending out an infinite abundance, loving vibes, healing vibes, and comforting vibes, especially if you truly need them. And give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. Drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And last but least, go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I'll see you later. Peace. Much love and be wild.